Hey, it's Gretchen here, Cat and Paul. So I have a Tuesday morning uh, haul to share with you. I picked up a few of the Maggie Holmes and the Bow Bunny. So first up are these embellished pockets, there are six. And let me take them out of the package for you. You can insert something in there. that one a lot so there's a fun and then I did get some of the bow bunny stamps floral flourish or floral flourishes and then bird song Sowing the seeds. Love this one. I'd seen this hauled a few times and I was so excited when my store got it. The cotton tail stamp. Love that Easter bunny. I think that's it for stamps. I did find this uh, bow bunny brads and the butterfly kisses. I, yeah. There's the number. Here's what comes in it. Love those. And they do look like they are a metal type brad. I found this 6x6 paper pad in the Banner Year collection by Bow Bunny. So it just repeats itself for a total of 36 pages and then I also found these brads in the banner year here is the number and they too are of a metal and acrylic type Maggie Holmes, I did find this sequin pack in the confetti. And I've seen this hauled quite a bit, so you have your basic sequins and your flowers and your larger flowers. And then these doilies, there's I think 10 of each, 10 gold, 10 white or something like that. There's 20 total in there. This is still in the open book collection. They are 102 pieces of floral ephemera. And I was fortunate enough to get two packs. And let me show you what comes in it. I've already used a couple out of, the, out of this pack. So you have some vellum shapes. And it's just white on the back. Some flowers. Then it does get into a little more foil and glitter. Nice variety there to work with. So a few vellum shapes. And I have a weakness for vellum, so I think that's what attracted me to it. And florals I can incorporate into almost everything. Still in the Maggie Holmes in the confetti is this pack of ephemera. I've seen this hauled quite a bit too. And there's what's in it. And then my last Maggie Holmes yeah, thing I got was this other pack. Eighty one pieces. I can show you real quick if you're interested what's in it. What I've been doing is moving these over 
once I open them, I cut off like the picture on the back and then uh, move them over to one of these containers that I picked up at Michael's. And I know some Tuesday mornings are actually carrying those. open book it is. I was going to say it, it matches some of the, um, like the color scheme matches. Some banners. Tags. A letter E, okay. Oh, and I get the letter N. Some die cuts. Ooh, some foil. Wow. Hope that's not blinding you. And lastly, now that I stuck to that. And a couple other. My, I have such static right now. Everything's sticking to everything. I will transfer that in a minute. Jen Haddonfield in these tags and they are a pack of tags. 36, there's the number. They are two-sided. That's nice. And there's like a tag pack. They're attached at the top. And go through the sayings. That's fun. Got five different ones, six different. In this white, there's the number. I think it's different from that. Yeah. So the white is ending in 204. It's almost iridescent as well. You can see there. Hopefully it's picking up in cam on camera. There's some white pieces there on the side. My, I tell you what, my sequins collection has grown quite a bit. <laughs> I probably should do something with them instead of buying them. And then there's the other one. I had actually seen this on MB Gray Designs channel. She did a live and she found the ones with the bunnies. And this would be the ones with the bunnies. So they're very iridescent. Gosh, I don't want to pick it up. It's just going to stick to me, but let me get my finger in there. Can you see that? So some purples, light pinks, light peaches, light gold. They're squares. Very fun Easter mix. And my store also had a seashell mix that was more like mermaid colors, blues, teals, light green, white, and uh, seashells in it, and I don't know what else was in it, but I didn't pick it up. Not much into the whole mermaids unicorn thing. A couple cute things, but 
most of the time I just leave it behind. This Project Life kit, $1.99, just alone for the paper. I mean, that it just kind of justified itself on the price. And so it should be able to take a stain on the like the regular recipe sheet. So it comes with these tabs, and it's already punched out on the side. Nice heavy paper. Talks about ingredients and the dish and how you rate it. Various colors, green, pink, red. Gets into yellow. I don't know if I want to buy a scrapbook and use it for that or just maybe stain it and put it in a journal. I'm not sure yet. But I thought for the price, there was a couple and I knew it would not be there if I went back. So I just grabbed one. Then it does get into a more conversion chart and other, you know, little whatnots. Potluck meals, party time. My last thing, and I gotta be honest with you, when I saw it, I'm like, do I really need it? <laughs> because it's so bright in colors. But why not? I'm gonna lose my glasses next to me those up okay I got stuff piled all around me let me get this out of the way if I have a big accident get you a full flip here 12 by 12 go bunny I showed you the number right the cotton tail collection So pretty. Love the cut aparts. So I can see myself doing a bright journal. Actually, I am working on a bright journal. And I like the way it's coming out. I, I think it's done. So that repeats itself. Again, a 12 by 12 bow bunny Easter cottontail collection. And uh, that's it. I'll show you real quick. See, I'm working on a bright peach journal. And pink's bright peaches. I think it turned out really nice. A little bit, just a, a smidgen of tea dyeing in there. So I like the, the brightness. But that's all I got. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for joining me. Bye.